DJ Berto Bear Review. It's time to dive into the depths of yet another barrel aged delicious brew. Well, hopefully delicious anyway. And from whom do we have said hopefully delicious beer? We have one from Boulevard Brewing Company out of Kansas City, Missouri, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them? We have their Grand Cru 2018. This is an American strong ale slash blended beer. It's a limited serving clock today at 13.7% ABV and 27 IBUs. You heard me mention that this is a blended beer. That's right. It is blended what? 60% whiskey barrel stout, which is a year-round serving now, and 40% bourbon barrel quad, which is their sixth glass that they age in bourbon barrels that's been around for a while. So there we get our ah, 100%. And what does Grand Cru mean? If you don't know, it means great growth. So hopefully, like um, six here that I really enjoyed from them. Is that six? No, that's Imperial Stout. Six here, their anniversary six or collaboration number six that they did with Firestone Walker. This sounds kind of like that less one beer. So I've heard really good things about this. The guy at the beer store uh, called Wine Source where I got this who has a really similar palate to mine. He said, dude, this rocks the heezy. You got to get some. So I did. So let's top the pop, pop the top on this one. <laughs> get it in the glass. You can see I want beer, man. I'm excited. And tell you what's up with Grand Cru 2018. Hell yes. Boom. Gigantic hiss off the top. Tons of cannon smoke. Obsessively collectible smokestack series crown of which this beer is a member. Let's get it in. Damn, it's cannon smoke still rolling out of this bad boy. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Lovely garnet waves going into the glass. Let's talk about the appearance besides the said description that just came by you. Anywho. It is, in the glass, a gorgeous garnet color. We had a finger of head that's gone down to a half already, quickly fading at 13.7%. That happens sometimes. All the all, they are super tightly packed bubbles, and when you swirl this bad boy, there are just curtains of alcohol just clinging down the inside of this glass. We may get a tiny bit of glass lazy. I don't suspect too much, but look at that. That is a delicious looking brew in the glass. It probably looks black to you, but trust me, it is garnet colored. You know what, it's pretty but it's got to smell good too. So let's dive in for that aroma. Damn, big, big dark fruits up in your grill. Then bourbon and tons of bourbon. Mm, chocolate, caramel, burnt brown sugar, rum soaked raisins. Damn, this smells freaking delicious. It smells like a big bourbon barrel aged barley wine in a lot of ways. Reminds me also of the aroma of some of the anniversary ales that Firestone Walker has had. You know, their stable mate um, in the Duval kind of stable of, of breweries. But man, big chocolate, coffee, more bourbon, more vanilla, char. Tons and tons of that pipe tobacco aroma that I love in beers like this. Mm, and there's a resounding like sweetness in the background that just makes it smell delicious. I guess coming from the quad. Uh, six glass has a decent amount of sweetness to it and a big fruitiness from the Belgian yeast that's in that. And that's really shining through in this. Mm, this smells freaking delicious. Not a hint of aroma safe spirit on the nose. Let's dive in. Cheers! Wow. Yum. Wow, that, with the glass lacing too, is drop the mic delicious. Up front, you get a big, big hit of those fruity esters, that cherry sort of rum soap grazing thing right out of the gate. Caramel. Mm. Then bourbon comes in on the scene with lots and lots of sweet vanilla after that. It's not a cloyingly sweet beer, but there's a big balance of the sweetness between the booze. There's a little tiny, tiny bit of booziness in it and warming the chest, but at 13.7%, I don't, like, not expect that. Wow. Super tasty. There's a bit of earthiness in the back end. Some char and roast notes as well. Chocolate. Mmm. Wow, this it's crazy crushable for what this is. If you're into drinking bigger beers like I am and you've had some like this before or recently, you know, some of them can be hot and boozy. This is not that at all. This is super scarily easy to drink for almost a 14% beer. Mm, it's mellow and sweet and chocolatey and fruity and just yum. That is a delicious multi-layered brew. I'm getting more vanilla. And also, in the aftertaste, as it builds, a good bit of coconut as well. But both the beers are barrel aged, so maybe you're going to get that, whatever the brew is, and what it extracts from the wood that has been aged in. But wow, 
Wow, Bravo Boulevard. This is this and is my second favorite, only to Rye on Rye on Rye, um, which I love too. But this is this is a great beer in its own. They're very different. But man, yum. So let's grade it. You're here. I'm geeking out. Beer Advocate gives this brew at time of recording 4.26 out of 5 caps. That's definitely going into their A-plus level. And on tap is giving this 4.23 out of 5 A-plus as well. I'm going, I mean, this could sell her a little better. I don't know, but I'm, screw it. I'm going hashtag Hundies. This is an A-plus level beer between 99 and 100 for me. You know, maybe if I drink a little more, I might say, oh, 99. But that being said, this is world-class A-plus. I'd buy it again. I'm glad I bought a four-pack of it. Um, I'm gonna, I can't wait to sell her a bottle of this and see what it tastes like, but this is friggin' delicious. Yum. I don't know if I would even consider maybe sharing any of those four, because this makes me glutton out. This is one of those beers with those big flavors that just get that, like, that friggin', that hedonic reaction going on. You know, when you get all those lovely flavors and your brain's just popping, it's like, damn, I like this, I want to drink it more and fast. But if you drink this fast, you're going night-night. Anywho, let's talk about important stuff. Like what? Hmm. If you have had this beer... Let me know what you know. If you don't like it, send me your extra bottles if you don't want to drink them. No problem. I will take care of them for you. Oh, yeah. And if you have had it, let me know what you know, because I like to quit broke. Well, eh, eh, back and forth. Ooh, I also really like it when you think locally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement. And it is exceedingly cool when you do me a big favor. That's right. You know what I'm going to ask you to do. Rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us. And if you can get around to it, you know, get near that you know, like button and, I don't know, kind of smash it. Because that, along with one bottle, is all I'm going to need of Boulevard Brewing Company's Grand Crew 2018 to put my gigantic happy face on. So to the next video day per tube, I got nothing but a bunch of Grand Crew drinking love for you. And you know what's coming by now. That's right. <laughs> Are you ready for it? Hell yes. A big pizza.